Hello world, Mr. Resistor here, continuing our alpha journey, and hopefully this will be another short one, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a late night for me. Manufacturing. Just in case there's something to scan.
I think I smell skunk. There used to be a family of them living out in my backyard. I saw one of them a couple of times, but haven't smelt them for a while. also a fox, which I saw uh, just the other day. It's pretty cool. Actually, the first time I've seen a fox in this area. It's bigger than I expected. Almost coyote sized. Different shape of the face though. And of course, that bushy tail. Foxes here are mostly gray, although this one had some orange on its belly, which is pretty cool. All right, not a combat site. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. I think this is gonna have 25 kills, but it's better than nothing.
Permission requested. Docking request accepted. This one's probably still not going to get us to 25 kills, which is unfortunate. But maybe we can hit a combat site as well. Not either of these, though. Angel Hideaway should get us six or seven kills, I think. Should we still need some when we're done with this mission? my drones. I'm an idiot. Okay. That means I want to take these guys out first. <clears throat> Trust that I'll be able to tank <clears throat> the uh, cruisers.
Alright, well there's my kills at least. So that's something. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so basically my strategy with there was take out the frigates first so I can get them at maximum distance, which gives me the best opportunity for killing them. Or actually hitting them. If I can hit them, they're dead. The problem is, they get in too close, they got too much angular velocity, uh, faster than the tracking speed of my cannons, and uh, so it's hard to hit them. The Rapid Light Missile Launcher will hit them, um, but it's only firing one missile at a time. Um, it's not enough damage to to uh, be effective as my only short-range weapon, which is 
why I rely on the drones. And, uh... But yeah, had to do without those this time. Because I am a moron. <clears throat> anyway, I'm seeing announcements for Equinox, so what's that about? Expert system will give you a skill plan that prepares you for flying the new ships. Twelve Empire Haulers. Market trading skills. The Equinox expansion for EVE Online is the first step towards a radical reinvigoration of Nullsec space. Capsuleers will gain access to new upwell structures, allowing for planetary resource harvesting, automated moon mining, customization of sovereign space, and more. Okay, so let's see. So there's some new structures. Pilots chose to contribute to development and structure on its purpose. Well, has now revealed that the structure was a prototype orbital skyhook. Oh. Oh. One of a line of advanced colonization structures being made available to capsuleers with the launch of Equinox in June. Mid June. And there's going to be a Vanguard test that complements it at the end of June. <clears throat> okay. Skyhook. An advanced form of Skyhook that will allow more efficient planet to space transfers than ever before. Anchored in orbit of planets within sovereign null sex space. These structures will provide access to power, workforce, and reagents necessary for the empire building aspirations of null sec leaders. Okay, so. Probably. So. Improved planetary interaction, at the very least. 
I assume. Uh, maybe some other benefits, possibly tie in with Vanguard. In addition to the planetary harvesting capabilities of the Skyhook, Equinox also introduces the Metanox Moon Trail. Huh. An automated resource extraction structure allowing organizations in NullSec and LowSec to streamline in-system in operations and focus on expansion and strategy rather than manual harvesting. Okay. Moon mining is time consuming. I will definitely say that. <coughs> um I can go I can go out with my small mining fleet and clear an asteroid belt in hour, hour and a half, right? Moon mining, at least in my experience, feels like an all-day thing. Okay, yet another revolutionary installation is the Sovereignty Hub set to replace the infrastructure hub and territorial claim unit promising to become a new cornerstone of territorial dominance with upgradable options depending on the star system's topology and the planets within it offers a nuanced approach to sovereignty that reflects each star system's physical characteristics as well as the goals and strategic leanings of the territory owners Interesting. For instance, certain upgrades allow the discovery of previously undetectable ore, while others will assist in the detection of the most impactful pirate targets and more. Most impactful pirate targets, I assume that's ratting basically. Previously undetectable ore. That's interesting. I wonder what that actually means. This new technology revolutionizes how planetary resources are harnessed, making it more strategic than ever before, reducing manufacturing bottlenecks and giving capsule leaders unprecedented control over their star systems akin to having the power to shape space to their whim. I wonder if that means that there's Tritanium in Nullsec. <clears throat> that would be a major difference for sure. All right, anyway, ownership of these new structures can determine control over the valuable resources of a system making them prized assets that rival factions can contest. Upwell has been quick to dismiss warnings that their introduction could spark a wave of conflicts as capsuleers compete for dominance in Nullsec space. Concerns have been raised that the capabilities of these new upwell structures to locate and extract more valuable resources than previously accessible in Nullsec space could lead to increased and more dangerous pirate activity in the vicinity. While hesitant to address these concerns directly, Upwell has assured potential clients that the structures are resilient and robust but has declined to comment on speculation that high profile pirate leaders might be drawn out of hiding. Another integral 
part of the Equinox suite is the introduction of four new ships capable of hauling all kinds of infrastructure items, but specialized in the transport of planetary resources, underscoring Upwell's commitment to revolutionizing NullSec operations, tailored to navigate the new dynamics of resource harvesting, and sovereignty, these vessels will bolster capabilities of capsuleers in this new era of space colonization. Upwell has also introduced a scientific milestone in cloning technology, representing a paradigm shift in how populations can be mobilized and utilized across the vastness of space and empowering all site corporations with access to highly skilled workforce. wonder if that means uh, I can switch jump clones more often, possibly, or have more jump clones. That's a pretty cool skin. I don't know if I'd choose those colors, but I like the design of it. Drive active. Alright. So, looks like there's going to be improvements to the air daily goals with the introduction of long term monthly goal track. That's cool.
like Omega pilots can even earn Plex. That's interesting. Ship replacement. That's cool. Rewarding new types of activities, such as earning loyalty points and salvaging wrecks. Cool. Anyway, so there's some stuff in here for Vanguard 2, but I'm not going to go through that because it's already past my bedtime. So, that's going to be it for me for tonight. Try to turn this in. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>